I was um, looking at some song lyrics that came up in my head and then I put this candle, as you can see it's going mental in the background, and um, oh my gosh it just threw some of me, how dare you. It, I took a match and I bent it in half and I put it around the wick, don't ask me why, and then I bent another one and put it the other way and it wasn't until I looked at it that I realised that I had created the, I think it's called Inguas, the, the Norse rune that kind of looks like it's doing that going across and I googled it because I, I haven't used runes for a while and the one that's been activated for this reading is about knowledge perfection fertility divine and energy according to the god ing you can't change the past but you can influence the present so this is very much about um staying in present moment even though we have a lot of past energies coming towards us and I kind of wanted to jump into that a little bit and just see what what wants to come forward um welcome in my name is Bronwyn this is Bronwyn's Cove Tarot if you are a new face it's really good to have you here if you are a returning subscriber or sort of family it's good to have you back uh thank you for supporting this channel thank you for supporting Loku's Dog and Cat Care Rescue I really appreciate you what are you doing back there it's leaving a really big um I was gonna say mess it's leaving a really big uh candle offering so I'm gonna read that afterwards um, it seems that especially with how big that flame is that today's reading really is about there's something here about the thirst for knowledge or seeking out knowledge not just waiting for it to be given to you let's say for example in a download but going out and seeking knowledge through books through courses through interactions with other people uh, please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only anything that comes up Actually, um, I was going to go through all of my, you know, my legal disclaimers. Please ensure that you are making yourself familiar with my legal disclaimers down below. By watching the rest of this video, you are in agreement that you will read those legal agreements, um, legal disclaimers before starting this video. Okay, now I'll be ringing these bells. This is just to cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device in three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, thank you for those who are still supporting Loku's Dog and Cat Care Trust. Um, it's not, it's Loku's Dog and Cat Care. Is it support? I keep forgetting now. But it is a charity that has been running out of Sri Lanka for a very long time. It supports all of the street dogs and street cats in the east coast of Sri Lanka. It is manned by a very small amount of people and it is independently run, which means the government doesn't help them in any way, shape or form. This is something that someone has decided to do, the someone being Connie Horchen. Um, and people, especially locals, have been helping her um, to just help as many animals as possible to, you know, give them food, give them um, a home at least into that shelter until they can get them better and actually help to rehouse them. If you would like to be part of that or you already are, thank you so much. All the information is down below. Um, let's crack on, shall we? Now, this is a new deck that I haven't used before, the Crow Tarot. So I don't know. I have only like, like looked at this once. I've never actually used them. So I don't know what these cards are going to be like. They are very beautiful though. So let's have a look at it. Inguas or Inguas. What do we need to know about this? What do we need to know about influencing the present when it comes to fertility, energy? The lovers has come out here with knowledge. Now, what I really like about the lovers card, something that I'm learning is that the lovers doesn't always have to be between two people. It can between be between yourself and your shadow. I mean, this is a really lovely card of you know either finding the one or finding that one within yourself and being able to um i heard just be vulnerable with yourself so i'm going to pop this one down there's knowledge here when it comes to love you've got the sun and the moon on there and i've just realized there's the sun and the moon on here so this could actually be a higher level soulmate this could be a union actually between two people let's see what else wants to come out and we have the Eight of Swords here. 
what is it that is not being let go of because the thing is as well is that the past is coming back for a time and i think that like the universe shows us these things to help us to not so much to relive them but to ensure that all of the loose ends have been tied all of the parts that need closure have got closure so that we can move into a newer phase of our lives um so partly this is stating that especially with the eight of swords coming out something is either troubling someone's mind or when you think about someone from the past it is bringing up some sort of fiery reaction is what i'm getting here yeah it's still there and we have also got the tower in reverse so this is and i'm just about to say this is something that you haven't let go of yet or someone hasn't let go of yet and we have the four of pentacles now i know that we get in the comment sections people going i have let go actually and blah blah, blah. one i'm not addressing you if you have let go you've let go but if you feel any type of like reactionary something to things that i'm saying i'm not saying it to trigger you i'm not saying it to offend you you just have to be mindful that if that is how you feel honor that honor it if you are feeling triggered and you feel like that you are putting a defense up and going i am over it your guides you know divine source wants you to know but you're not and that's okay it's actually okay we are spiritual beings having a human experience and this is what they are bringing back to show you to remind you so that it can be burnt out because that is burning really high and that's burnt really really quickly the offering is massive on that it did not burn like this yesterday so this tower here this tower being struck by lightning doesn't even have fire on this one it just needs to be knocked down it being in reverse is like ignoring something within your own heart space because this crow cannot fly this crow cannot see cannot communicate with its family with its friends with anyone and this here is about control or kind of like guarding self so someone here is guarding themselves and pretending that they're over it and the falls in reverse this is actually slowing down someone's um new start especially the queen of swords here to the queen of pentacles it's like lying to yourself and by doing so now this doesn't have to be you okay you don't have to claim any anything if it just does, doesn't resonate with you this is a collective reading meaning if it's not for you it's for the next person but someone here is definitely denying themselves the vulnerability of going hey there may be some there may still be a bit of pain here that i haven't i haven't either not dealt with but I haven't recognised was hiding in my shadow or there may be a little bit of wounding there that I thought had healed or I just haven't had time to stop and look at and it's okay if you haven't don't judge yourself or don't judge yourself harshly on this but there's a need to there's definitely a need to here let me move this over here I feel like we're going to have quite a big spread today so I'm going to put down the eight I feel like this is going to burn itself completely out. Wow. It is really talking away, isn't it? Usually I take photographs of the flames and then I, I read the flames later. But it does seem like you have a lot of guides here. There's definitely dragon energy around helping to burn and remove something and to remove it very, very quickly because the offering that's coming out is massive. It's absolutely massive and it's snaking away. Rather than coming round and going down, it's going away. So it's going towards the south, which is Archangel Michael. Very protected. So let's pop this down and see what's going on here. And then we have the tower. So this is someone, someone's dragging their feet, in other words. And I'm only using the wording that my guides and your guides are telling me to. And I, I always um, make sure to highlight and emphasise that I don't say things to purposely trigger or offend people. And I think the reason why I'm being encouraged to state this is because there may be some people who are having their backs up over what is being said. You have here the four of pentacles. This is control. This could be slight selfishness. And I don't see being selfish as a bad thing because we are taught very much to do the opposite, to you know always be giving to others. But there is this energy of cutting the nose off to spite the face. Like, I don't care. 
I have got over this, I don't know what you're talking about. And almost like holding on to that pain or holding on to that shadowy bit and pushing it back down again. Can I get um one more please? Can I get one more? Just one. One more, thank you. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. There's either a longing for independence or there is independence coming. The wolf being here, I don't know if Odin's very present. Present, He must be because, I mean, for me to have Ingwas coming out, this Norse rune, and then you have the god Ing there as well, there's a lot of protection around you. Oh, wow. See how I said, I've got to show you. See how I said, oh, it's going that way, it's going north. Look how it turned round and it's now dripping all the way down onto the floor. That's why I'm not cleaning that up. But it is going towards the north, which would then be Archangel Uriel. This is to do the... How are you doing? I've never seen a candle burn like this. That's amazing. I'm going to let it just do its thing and then I'll sort out the wax and stuff later. Okay. So that completely turned course. Completely turned course. Interesting. And it's turning course is what is bringing in this Nine of Pentacles. Because we started off with the first four or the first seven cards that came out, because I was looking at some other ones, that was very much about this restriction, maybe around someone's heart space. It could be their physical heart or it's oh, there's heartbreak here. This could be yours, this could be someone else's. And then when we were turning it around, when we were starting to move to, from feeling like we had to shield ourselves into kind of more to do with earthy tones, earthy things, action, movement, because Archangel Uriel has a flame of red around him and he's very much about structure, willpower, foundations, material wealth. Um, he's a very, I say he, but they are a very doing energy this is when the nine of pentacles came out so i'm going to pop this one down over here can we get some clarity on the lovers please the king of wands keeps coming out keeps showing itself but the king of wands in reverse we also have the nine of wands in reverse how interesting whoever this i don't feel like this is you there may be some energy coming from you or there's some of this energy that you need to look at because it does affect you but this is looking more like there is someone here maybe from the past or somebody who has a very similar story to yours who at the moment is fighting against something they're fighting against some sort of dark night of the soul some sort of healing and this is now slowing down I was going to say it's slowing down, but that is still a very, very, very large, large, large flame. Give me one sec. I'm really impressed. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I've been told by my guides to put it out because what I don't want is it to burn my actual counter. So let me put this out been told to do it carefully so that I can read the candle wax after and I might take a photograph and post it so that you can see the candle wax so I'm going to put it out let me see if it burns there we go oh it's still going whoever this person is that's either shared a past life with you a history with you now or someone who's just had a similar life to you this person has a lot of like inner um ambition a lot of inner fire and fire power a lot of um just drive there's a lot of drive coming from this person because the fact that that did not want to go out like it didn't want to go out and it took me three tries to put it out um, the nine of wands being here in reverse though is uh, it can be an aggressive or confrontive kind of energy because the nine of wands 
is usually to do with like the wounded warrior this is somebody who has been through quite a lot and is near the ending of whatever strife or struggle that they are going through um but there's still something that they need to kind of work on that being in reverse is almost like fighting against their shadow there's fighting against something here holding on to something the king of wands being in reverse is somebody who has gone from I don't know, maybe even like the, the height of their physical fitness to an injury and going, no, I can still work out. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then being told, no, you need to slow down. You need to actually go and rest. And this person is fighting against it. It could be that this person is, you know, they were um, a manager and they've been demoted to just being a deputy manager or they've had their, there's something here about them having to slow down and just wait or them having to take the zen route and they're not used to it this being in reverse yeah they they're not used to this and they don't like it the strength card came out the last time i opened it as well this person is very strong they may admire your strength as well because i've got the ten of swords on this side which is telling me that somebody has been through quite a lot in their life they may there's something about um whoever this person is has either been through similar trauma to you or why am I, I don't get that this is like an ex it could be i don't feel like it is though because the lover is upwards this is trauma or betrayal now the eight of swords to the trauma do you want to put this one out yes okay i'm going to put this out and it goes next to it's clarifying the eight of swords here this is like being trapped in someone's mind or like overthinking something that happened in the past overthinking that someone's out to get them you have here the six of wands but the six of wands is in reverse and i feel like this is actually clarifying that the second row we have five rows out today and the second row is still the eight of swords to the ten of swords this is the six of wands here this is like why does someone feel down and out or someone feels like they've been defeated or why have we got this tell me about the tower in reverse okay ten of pentacles is coming out uh, page of pentacles is coming out judgment is coming out this is very, very strange because we have such polar opposite energies, such polar opposite energies. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is happy time, happy life, happy, I heard happy wife or husband or happy partner. And I'm putting this down next to the tower in reverse. So that is almost like either pushing against this change of having this happiness come in or assuming that they had happiness and it wasn't happy you have the page of pentacles okay someone here is ah okay so this lover this maybe this is a new suitor that may be coming in for someone here this person may have be going through quite a massive transformation in their life because they have gone through some sort of trauma here where if they were in a family or in a unit of some sort, um, there was either an illusion, there was some sort of deception, or they are moving away and trying to heal from that trauma of what happened. They may feel like they are failing or you may feel like you are failing at your healing, but just take you if you take one step every day, even if it's a teeny tiny little pigeon baby step, if you take one tiny little step every day in a year's time you would have taken 365 steps and that's not that's not small that's not something that you should poo poo that's major that's massive mm. and even if you can't take steps on certain days you are still going to be further in your process of healing than you were yesterday by taking that one little step or taking a couple here and there we have page of pentacles to judgment okay so this is like changing the way that we perceive things this ingress here the this knowledge perfection fertility divine and energy 
there seems to be a lot of information that's coming forward but it's either for you to see this or for this person to really grasp it they have to or you have to be willing to be very present in yourself when it is given to you or when these signs are shown to you because if you are not it's not so much that you're going to miss an opportunity because whatever is destined for you will always be destined for you it's more that if there is an opportunity that is presented and you could have it in a week but you're not looking for it or you're looking backwards or you're looking inwards and backwards and not looking not so much to your future but just presently you're not going to see it and that opportunity may have to wait another couple of years or decades before it can present itself again and that's what I'm getting here it's, I don't know who's going through this dark night of the soul, if this is you or them, if this is you working through your shadow, because the, again, the lover's card can be between two people, the sun and the moon, you know, are usually depicted as divine counterparts, but this also can be your yin to your yang, this can be your own divine masculine to your own divine feminine, it's coming into oneness, into wholeness, you know, we always talk about duality between light and dark and how we need both of them, but really what we're trying to work towards is du is not the duality of, of having these two different things, but how we merge into wholeness, how we merge into oneness. And it's difficult. It's not an easy feat in any way, shape or form. And anyone who tells you it is, is just lying to themselves and lying to you. And I don't know if this person has been lying to themselves or lying to you. Why am I getting that? Page of Pentacles is... It gives me very similar vibes to the Seven of Pentacles, which is where we look back and see how far we've come, where as the Page of Pentacles is kind of holding that seed and going, well, this is what I've got. What am I going to do with this? How am I going to plant this? Am I going to plant in, in it illusions? Am I going to plant in it doubt? Am I going to plant in it, you know, lack? I don't have anything. Or am I going to be like, oh my gosh, I am so blessed. I am so blessed and so highly favoured. Anything is possible. And as I said that, I got goosebumps. And this is what's happening here. Someone is having that light bulb. I was going to say lightning bulb. That light come on. So many planes. Give me one second. I don't know why this is the path that they like to go past, but they are super, super noisy. And I, I'm sorry for that distraction. Um, someone is going to have that light bulb moment where they go from being like, this is my life. These are the things that I had to go through or just reliving something or something that someone said or the way that someone left or the way that someone put a cup down and how it made you feel. And something's going to snap like that. And I don't mean snap and go wrong. It's almost like fit into place. And I keep, get, I keep getting like these waves of chills, which is like confirmation. Now this could be for you, it could be for them, or you could have it at the same time. But, and I just got another chill. For someone, you're getting it at the same flipping time. This, I am so blessed. I can't wait to start the next level of my life. I'm already starting it now. I'll pop you there. I'll pop you here. And you're being told... That when you feel that, stay with that. Stay with that energy as much as you can. And I mean, right now, if that is not how you feel, that's okay. But uh, there's something about mantras, using certain word affirmations, prayers. Um, I heard jingles or songs. Things that feel natural to you. If you do not feel blessed and highly favoured right now, you could be going through struggles, you know. There is a need to keep a, like a gratitude list of things that you are actually um, thankful for. It could be to, for waking up alive. It could be for the sun shining, for having wonderful neighbours. Things that you genuinely like because it will open you up to this. Can I get some um, clarity also on the Four of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles, please. The Four of Pentacles. And we have here one, two, three, four, five, six of cups. This is past energy. 
We also have the Hierophant here. So we have a past energy trying to come forward with some... What is this? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups has been coming out in a lot of my readings lately. Okay, and the Queen of Cups will pop her head up, whether it is upright, whether it is upside down. I mean, in reverse. And the Chariot with lightning underneath here again. I feel like this Four of Pentacles energy may be someone coming forward or some sort of situation that reminds you of a past drama maybe coming forward in a legal sense or in like a more official sense rather than someone just coming and knocking your door and you're opening it and it's your ex Sheila or you know um you have a look on your IG account and you've just got a DM and it's from your ex best friend that you haven't spoken to in five years rather than that it seems like there is something official that will come forward the six of cups being here with sunflowers is very interesting this is a very interesting card because sunflowers are usually seen on this on like um the sun card or it, to depict some sort of growth right having it over here on the six of cups is giving me like false memories or whatever it is that's coming towards you is going to not so much mask itself it's not masking itself in any way, shape or form. It's almost like cutting out the reason why it's still in the past. Because if this is a letter, for example, an official letter of some sort where you're invited to a job or you're invited to this fun fair thing or you're invited to come on the jewellery and you have to be at a, a case, whatever. Whoever it is that's sending it to you or whoever it is that is inviting you is going to almost sidestep any issues that you may have had with them in the first place and if you didn't physically have any issues with them it could be that you outgrew them and they're trying to pull you back but the whole reason that you outgrew them is maybe they never grew up maybe they are lacking in emotional maturity something about their connections to certain people there's something that doesn't add up in the way that they're coming forward because the hierophant here is like with an attorney or speaking to someone who has um, professional knowledge on something here. And remember, we have Ingwers. This is about knowledge. There is some sort of knowledge that will come forward to you. And they're going to, the information that they give you is going to reside over somebody who is very uncaring. Oh my goodness. And I nearly threw that. Now, there's crabs here. There's a lot of crabs in this card, which would denote that this is family. It being in reverse, this could be in-laws. This could be um, not so much your actual blood relatives as it could be your best friends that you had when you were seven and your family and their family are just stayed tight all these years and you call them your brothers and your sisters or you call them your cousins or something along those lines. There's something here with information coming forward in a very... Um, legal and just there's something about by the book way hmm. hmm why do we need to know about this because we even have the hierophant with a number five there's something about major change coming in major change but this major change you're being told to be cautious not paranoid not fearful just cautious because the card that we started off with on that fourth row it's four of pentacles it's about control this is about kind of like holding on to something here so there may be something that is offered to you that with it having a key on here as well this is like an offer or a meeting or an event or something that ties you back in to past energy or ties you back in with a queen of cups when you've moved away from one interesting okay now can i get some clarity on the nine of pentacles please please ensure that you are hydrating if you have not drank any water today please go and drink some water i know i was drinking out of a coffee cup but i have an entire big bottle right here for myself if you have not eaten yet 
please eat something do not skip a meal if you haven't taken your medication please go and take your medication if you are tired and you're supposed to be sleeping rather than watching this put it down go to sleep okay self-care is self-love and that is important now we have coming out for the nine of pentacles we have here the seven of pentacles in reverse this is a rush of some sort this is rushing something this is not 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 thinking something through you also have here the six of pentacles and then we have the magician this is the energy of um why am i hearing independence at any means it's not there's there's an offer that's going to be given to someone here i feel like there's been a lot of readings talking about collaborations or money being given to someone and to be careful and it just seems to be repeating itself in different ways but this time there's something about whatever it is that you're doing to keep your independence to not rush something here do not rush how you get to where you're going sounds very vague but that's what's coming through six of pentacles so all the money and all of the abundance is at the last row so there seems to be like four phases we have five rows all together so there's four phases of things you've got to do and how is it son that the one time i've been having to put like a tea towel up at the top because i have like the little windows that poke open like that and that's it and the sun has decided that it's going to shine through the one time that i take the tea towel down and use it for there instead for the um candle thanks so much um this here they're feeding fish so this is about generosity rushing to do something because you are independent this isn't so much about this isn't so much about you gaining something from someone else or you taking an offer this is more like being reached out reached out by so reached why can i not get my words today it's like catching in my throat this is someone reaching out to you and saying hey i need help can you help me out but the queen of cups being in reverse is someone who's very manipulative so this may be somebody that you've already cut off or someone that you don't want to be around in the first place the magician being here in reverse this person there's something about taking until you have nothing left now when we started this reading we were talking about a king of wands with the lovers why do we have this i'm going to get a different deck oh my gosh i need a pair of those like paneled sunglasses that just goes around on this side as well mm -mm, mm -mm. we are not doing that i have to use those for a second let me have a look Tell me, how do these two people connect? How does this King of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Cups connect? I, I don't feel like they're in a relationship. I don't feel like they are romantically connected. There is definitely a connection of some sort. And I don't know if you are the connection or if they are connected and you are like almost like a triangle there's you at the bottom then you have the lover at the top and then you have like the queen of cups on the other side can we get some clarity on the lover when it comes to this king of wands in reverse and that this person having to slow down and stop something and they're struggling with, with this clarity on that please ten of cups in reverse nine of cups and it's upright then you have the princess of swords and you have the ace of pentacles it seems like um it seems like this king of wands in reverse is ignoring this queen of cups or has moved away from this queen of cups there's been a lot of maybe feeling trapped maybe feeling uh, betrayed or feeling like a failure when they're around this queen of cups this is almost like giving me the energy of like a son and their mother and their mother 
relying on this song quite a lot and if i use pronouns if i use any type of pronouns know that i am not picking up on gender i am just using examples because it's a king i'm saying something masculine but we hold both masculine and feminine energy so you know it's up to you whether or not you assign a gender you don't have to you do not have to whatsoever you can swap them around if you want to you can get rid of them um just don't make the story fit if it doesn't but the ten of cups in reverse is an unhappy family this is not being happy you then have the nine of cups which is completely opposite but it's almost like this king of cups is now satisfied it's almost like a massive f you to their own mum or their own dad or some sort of like um older caring carer figure you have the princess of swords here in reverse this is a lack of either understanding a lack of wanting to know something here it could be blocking someone off not actually talking to them and the ace of pentacles yeah they're not interested they are not interested in investing time this person has all this i don't know if they're sulking or if they've, they've just had enough tell me about that eight of swords to the ten of swords to the six of wands in reverse please clarity five of cups the other one's just way too many five of cups to the queen of pentacles okay so th this person may have felt like they were bamboozled in some way or betrayed in some way something failed or they may feel like a failure because they were trapped or bamboozled the five of cups being here in in the reverse is about removing all of that energy that you have over here it's about kind of seeing the cup as half full or completely full of being quite optimistic of feeling like you are seen like you are heard and it's the complete opposite of what we have here you have the queen of pentacles which is nurturing abundance why am i getting these as clarity why am i getting these as clarity please spirit can you be direct be direct direct answer why did I get the Queen of Pentacles to the Five of Cups in the Vast? High Priestess has come out to the Princess of Pentacles. Now, this person, whoever this King of Wands is, be that you being the King of Wands, and this is a fight between your light and dark within yourself with the lovers here, or if this is somebody outside of you, who is working through their own fears, their own shadow, their own, you know, their own humanity and human experience. This person, um, they understand, ah, this is like understanding that what has happened has happened to them, but it's happening for them. Because the Princess of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, again, it's about looking at what you have. And we have already have a Page of Pentacles out here. And deciding on how we're going to invest that pentacle. How we're going, how are we going to plant that seed? What are we going to put there? What are we going to put into, into the, the earth, into our mind, into our heart, into our soul? Is it going to be doubt? Is it going to be the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords? The, the six of wands in reverse and at some point this person or you may have felt like this and rightly so you were either betrayed or bamboozled you were lied to or you were made to feel like what you saw in a person was actually their truth when it was not and how you felt was very value valid and very very valued maybe not by the person there but by the divine but it wasn't completely reasonable is what I'm hearing. And that has come up quite a lot. It wasn't completely reasonable. And that doesn't mean that you aren't valid in how you feel. It's that there has been a change or, and it's that lightning bolt. There's something here about a lightning bolt, like Zeus throwing down a lightning bolt and going ding. This may have already happened to someone. It's going to happen again. Because the energy that they've decided to sit in is the high priest, the high priestess, which is a wonderful energy. This is transmuting a lot of darkness, a lot of darkness. This is transmuting it into gold, into light. And the thing is that I find very interesting, I did not realise this, that crows, are their feathers aren't actually black. It's just that their feathers are extremely bright and 
how they are seen by you know the natural world is not how we see them we cannot pick up the colors our eyes are not developed enough they're not evolved or de developed enough to actually see the colors that are that's on a crow's um a crow's feathers so we only register register it as black the next time you see a crow or a raven if you and they're close enough if you actually look you can see sheens of green and pink and purple um there's something here about going through the darkness and thinking that there was only darkness and now reliving something i think this is what is coming back from the past because this person whether this is for you or for the person that will be coming towards you this love this person was very oppressive or controlling and we're talking about this queen of cups here this queen of cups was very very controlling and they're trying to control parts of your narrative or parts of this person's narrative even though they're not physically in their lives anymore by going hey i need you to help me out here there's something about it could be financing especially especially with the last row here talking only about resources about abundance nine of pentacles seven of pentacles in reverse six of pentacles the magician this is almost like well you're doing really well now that you no longer need me in your life you can help me out and there, there's almost like this energy of um half appeasing the person half wanting to appease this person and half not and then there is the question of if you don't help this person does that give you bad karma does it give you negative karma if you do help them does that pull you back into a cycle so this is interesting especially with the princess of swords here to the ace of pentacles those two really it's almost like a, a double negative i'm not not going to help because on its own, this is ignoring, this is not wanting to see, this is not picking up the, the telephone, this is not answering text messages, this is not reading into something more, this is not gossiping, this is I'm just not interested. But this on its own is I'm not interested. And then you put them together, this is I am not interested, interested. I'm not not interested. That was a bit of a tongue twister, wasn't it? Can I get one more then, just one more? For the Princess of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Can we get a little bit of clarity on that? Direct, please. Thank you. Three of Swords. This is what you're being asked to heal. Or this is what the person who is coming towards you at some point is asking you to heal. You may be seeing a lot of crows. You may be seeing a lot of birds. There's something about the Corvid family. Seeing the Corvid family type of birds. Magpies, crows, rooks, ravens um there's lots of other ones and those are the ones that i remember i'm just looking at the rest of these cards there is something that you don't see or this person doesn't see and i keep flipping between the two because i don't feel like it's just you or it's just this other person you may be going through this experience at the same time i mean they could be on the other side of the planet or they could be living around the block and you don't even know but they're going through very similar things very similar things they're going through very similar things and you have the queen of cups to the queen of cups queen of cups to the queen of cups very similar things and you've got here sorry you've got here the knight of wands as well i'm going to move this over okay So the, the tower, which is the third row, is clarified. The tower's in reverse. It's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Queen of Cups. Again, this is the same type of energy of someone offering. It's like they want to come in. This person is going to want to come in at some point and celebrate with you when you get something. Because the Ten of Pentacles there is like happy, happy, happy. Let's have a happy home, happy life. Why do I keep saying happy home, happy life? Happy happy home, happy week, happy life. I think there's another tarot reader that says that. And they have a really strong Spanish accent. And it sounds really lovely when they say it. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe this Queen of Cups is a Spanish speaker. Or they speak a Mediterranean language or a, a, Roma, a Latin romantic language like French, Portuguese, Brazilian, um, French, Spanish, Catalan, something Italian, something along those lines. Um, that cup there is giving me cheers or salute more than anything else. Like them wanting to come in and celebrate with you. The Knight of Wands coming out. This is them rushing in. Rush, rush, rushing in. Especially with that Four of Pentacles to the Six of Cups to the Hierophant to the Queen of Cups. They want you to, they want you to give them something here. Because that Hierophant has a key on the, on, on the actual card. And there's three crows around it. It's almost like people looking at this key, something that you've been given and going, oh my gosh, let me see that. Is that a real one? Like back in the day when you see like old cockney people like taking a, a coin and giving it a bite. Oh, that's real. That's real gold that is. There was something about the way that they, in, was it like if the tooth indented into it, then it was real. I don't know. But look how close those crows are to that king looking at it. They can't take it though. It's not theirs. It's yours. Something's been given to you. But this queen of cups, I feel like if you're given something, officially given something, and it's coming from this queen of cups, if it's specifically coming from this queen of cups, they're doing so because they want something from you. But if you take whatever it is that they are offering, it's going to pull you back into some old cycle. And it's going to pull you back really, really flipping quickly. Like really quickly. If they're not offering you anything, they're not offering you anything. This is more that something is going to be offered to you. But you get this later once you pull yourself out of the energy of the past something is definitely being offered this key is important because i keep looking i keep looking at this four of pentacles but i keep looking at the skyline i keep looking at all of these buildings in the background i keep looking at them as like the key is something like a key to the city the key to New York, the key to London, the key to Philadelphia, the key to so wherever it is that you live. Or I don't think it's where you live. Scrap that. It's not where you live. It's somewhere else. It's somewhere else. And this person, they want a piece of this cake or pie or whatever you call it. Because I know cake is now something different to what it used to be, which was just actual cake that you eat. But... um. They want, they want to come with, or they want you to give them something. They want you to help them out. They want you to pay their debts. They want, they want something here. And then that is it. You will not be able to get them off of your back. Or this person won't. Nine of Wands to the Hermit. And I, I feel like at the moment, a lot of people are going into like a, a kind of hermiting phase of like a, like, like a, um, a hermit crab inside that shell it's just got a new shell there's a bit more space in there but you know taking their time in there really huddling up and not huddling up because they don't want to see the world just because but you know what being in hermit phase is nice i like hermit phase and that's because i'm an introvert and i i'm neuro spicy and i like spending time by myself i like traipsing through nature and talking to squirrels like a mad woman um, and I would rather speak to squirrels than people, <laughs> if I'm honest. But there's this hermity, protect your peace. There's a need for you to protect your peace at all costs. And that includes, that includes from family, I heard. That includes from family. Now, this king of wands in reverse, this person that could be coming in for a specific amount of you guys, as a romantic kind of like gesture they could be coming in, in like a friend and they could be the best friend that you've ever had or they could be the the most amazing love that you ever have this person may be going through this as well they may have had to hermit from their own mother they may have had to hermit from their own aunt from their grandmother um 
or just from somebody who uh, you know uh, has a lot of the queen of cups energy this this i heard supposed nurturing energy supposed because the thing is as well is that the queen of cups is not the villain in this they are deeply unhealed which is why you have the queen of cups coming out twice once in how they want to be seen by everyone and the other by how they're actually seen which is like the fourth row which is all about control and past past energy and i had past life past life this person holds a lot of past life wounding that they never looked at and maybe they won't look at they're very quick to act from that past wounding so you are being told to protect your peace protect your energy from anyone bringing chaos towards you anyone there may be a need also with any winds that come in for you, whatever this key to the city is, especially when it comes to knowledge, the divine giving you specific access, I heard. It could be to your Akashic records. It could just be to specific guides that will help. They will help you and support you and guide you to where you need to be so that you're in per perfect divine timing with certain things happening like a domino effect and you bump into someone they're like hey oh my gosh you do a b and c for a job i love that oh my gosh my friend's got a course going on where you could you know blah blah no it's free or it's this much or it's blah blah and that's exactly what the divine wanted for you and you're like huh there's something here with just protecting your peace yeah protect your peace at all costs because you have the two of cups here it's about balance and it's giving me the energy of the lovers as well. This is where somebody meets this person. Oh, the absolute K-drama of it. Oh my goodness. Somebody's going to meet their counterpart. Now this counterpart, like I said, does not have to be the love of your life. But they are definitely an equal. They are definitely somebody who is on the same high vibe as you. This is such a sweet card. The way that they are bumping heads, that boop boops, is so cute. And then when you look at the two of cups, it's more or less the same thing because they're drinking from each other's cups. They're giving eye contact. They know what each other is thinking. So this card here will be love for some people. For others, this is like a soul, this is a soul family member. This is the soul family member that you've been waiting for that is going to give you this flipping key and open the door so you can meet other soul family members. This could be like a living spirit guide. This is like a living spirit guide. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And this last, this last one here, this last row, with the nine of pentacles, the seven of pentacles in reverse, six of pentacles, then the magician. And then you have this card coming out. There's something about, um, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, not to rush something, but not to take your time. It's like being right in the middle. Because the seven, excuse me. Oh, my, whose voice was that? Because the seven of the seven of pentacles in reverse is about not thinking things through. Six of pentacles is about generosity. Nine of pentacles is about having enough for yourself. Magician in reverse. It's pretty obvious that you're being told not to just give away your energy or abundance to anyone, but to keep yourself balanced. Keep yourself very, very balanced because there is going to be, I feel like this is coming in soon, you know. You're going to meet like a living spirit guide. Well, you're, this person is like, I don't know who they are, but you have had past lives with this person. They have been on this soul journey with you more than once. They, I heard they're really excited to meet you. But there's, a, there's something that you need to do and you're told, being told not to rush it, but not to take your time. What does that mean? Seven of Wands is like, an, it's inner turmoil or struggle. But it can also be seen as there being absolutely no flipping competition. None. 
I have a clue on the two of cups to the seven of wands, please. King of cups is in reverse. So we have the queen of cups and we have the king of cups. With the seven of swords to the eight of wands. So we have someone coming in who is going to try and manipulate you. That's the, that is where I was getting that energy of don't do something too quickly and don't don't take your time. If somebody is rushing you into a decision to do something here where it means that you have to over give your time, your wealth, your money, your energy. Reach. Ah, so this is like reach out to either your twin. If you believe in twin flames, because look at how they are touching heads. They, they are telepathically connected. And I know that ravens are not telepathically connected. I do not need the, you know, well, actually, ravens are blah, blah, blah. Y'all need to stop, right? <laughs> but you do have here them sharing thoughts. There is a need to kind of reach out through the ethers. It could be as you're going to sleep, setting the intention of, I really would like to now meet my living spirit guide or i'd really like to now meet my twin flame or i'd really like to meet this soulmate or soul family member so that i can gain advice and guidance from the outside about this you know because it's always great to you know come and listen to tarot readings to gain you know confirmation and clarity on what you're you don't or on what you already intuitively know and i know that i should be like really advertising it and being like no come back only listen to me but no i don't want that for you there's, there's something here about connecting with others outside of this, who can view this on the inside, who understand, who can be like, okay, this, this, and this, this person's fake, that person isn't. And there is someone coming in who has this telepathic connection to you, okay? Just be aware, just be really aware though, that if someone comes in claiming that they are your soulmate or they are your soul family. If they are very direct in that, go back and watch the video that I done that was um, talking about see it, don't hear it. And it's talking about how your guides want you to see the person, their energy, their actions, not what they say not how they are trying to love bomb you or like deceive you or pull the wool over your eyes actually see how how do they treat waiting waiting staff if they take you to a restaurant how do they speak to their family members you know what do they say about specific things not so much politics as it is uh gender norms or blah 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 I know that we all have our different, you know, ideals and ideologies and beliefs and so on and so forth, but there is always going to be a common denominator of kindness, compassion and respect, right? And equality. They're always going to be those. If they are not there, if this person is not displaying those, not just saying them and being like, I'm for women's rights, I'm for, you know, transgender rights, I'm for this, I'm for that, I'm for blah, blah, blah. You can, you can say all the stuff, but then you see the, this person giving, you know, someone walking past side eye because they may have a beard but they're wearing a skirt or whatever that may be, right? And please know that this channel is all inclusive. Everybody is welcome here. You are welcome as long as you are not hurting yourself or hurting others. You are welcome here. Seriously. This is going to be something that you need to look out for because I feel like there is definitely someone coming in who is going to try and play the smallest violin. Poor me, woe is me. And you're being told to look out for them. Because there is someone coming in, there is this wonderful person, but it's almost like um, someone's trying to pick the post, they're trying to get there first. The fact you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, this is giving me like, why am I getting family members? Like there's an actual family member who might want to come in and like just ponce off of you. Just they just want to be like, they want to put their hand out the minute they, they know that you've got something. There's more than one message coming out on here. Yeah, and look, the devil came out to the four of cups. 
there's more than one message coming through. You do have somebody coming forward who is either a living, breathing spirit guide. You have someone who is a twin flame or you have somebody who is a soul family member. But there is also going to be energy from the past that is trying to pull you back into past behaviours or ways of doing things. If you were very like generous with opening like your purse strings and supporting, let's say, your mum and dad or your, you know, whoever were your main carers, um, so on and so forth, and you're realising that they only come to you when they want money or they only come to you when they want you to babysit and look after your nephews or whoever it may be, that now is the time to be looking at this because there is a tiny bit of friction coming in, just a teeny tiny little bit of friction with someone going, but that's not me. I've healed everything. Anyone who is, is putting in the comment section or even thinking I've healed everything, the universe, if you tell the universe, I've just healed everything, the universe and your spirit guides are going to be like, oh, have you? Bring that person in from that time. Yeah, you know when they were dating so and so and so and it broke their heart and they did blah, blah, blah. Put a, photo put a photograph up on their social media of that person with so and so and so. Seriously. And then see how quickly that feeling comes back. And they're not doing it to take their mick out of you. They're not doing it to, you know, um, to punish you. They're doing it to go... Get off of that ego, that ego trip. And I know, again, I'm sorry if it's coming across like I'm having a go at you. Please don't come for me. They want you to see that last little bit, that little bit that needs to have that nurturance, that light poured on it, because something grand is coming. Something big is coming. This thing over here with like people from the past putting their hand out and going, can you help me? There's a reason for it. That nine of pentacles, someone who's in independence, there's more, there's more than where you are. There's more abundance than where you are coming in and you're being told to make decisions very logically and very carefully because the devil's here to the four of cups. This is almost like trying to come in with some sort of burden or try to pull you back so that you're five steps back this is the reason you're being told not to pull yourself too far into the past and to be present with yourself okay so anything else before i go no i've been told um i'm done um i really hope this gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated and you like what you heard and you'd like to see more of my content i would love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that if you are a returning subscriber soul family i love you guys I will see you in the next one. Know that my readings are open. I am now offering um, another service. All of the information is down in the description box. If you just press the more button or the more word next to the title, it will drop down the description box and you can see my prices. You can see my services. Please make, your, make yourself familiar with those before reaching out to me. Know that if anybody is advertising anything in the comment section of this video or anyone's video, they are a scammer because if if it was really something that was um authentic they'd have their own channel they'd have their own website they wouldn't be doing it through whatsapp or someone else's right so please do not get scammed by anyone pretending to be me another tarot reader or anyone who has been blessed with loads and loads of money and they've got loads of houses now so <laughs> Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, uh, tomorrow I will be going live at 8pm GMT, but not here. It will be through my membership, membership only. That is the only place that you will be able to have um, a live, in present conversation with me, where um, if you are one of the first five people to come into the live and just says, hi, you will have... Um, if you want it, a three card pull on any question that you have for me. OK, so I will I will answer a question for you and that will be at the end of that live reading. If you would like to be in with a chance of having a live reading with me, um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and then press join. Um, there are videos already up in the membership that are not open for the public view. So public can see it, but they cannot go on there. Um, so I've got some goodies on there. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.